Peru is one of the most diverse countries on the planet. Here we find high mountains and cloud forests, high altitude plains, and escarpments with some of the most impressive waterfalls on the planet. The Amazonas in the north of Peru is one of the less visited regions, but its beauty is unparalleled. The cultural history here would excite even the most storied of archaeologists. And it's here that my adventure begins. I'm meeting up with Jose Soplin of Turismo Explorer to trek the mountains and the archaeological history of the Amazonas region. Jose and I are setting off for several days of trekking, only this time we're not camping along the way. I have a much lighter pack because we're actually going to be staying in homes and villages along the way. So not only will this be an amazing way to see the landscape, the Amazonas region, but also to be tied in with the local culture here. It's going to be good. It doesn't take long before we encounter our first stunning sight. Just a few miles from where we began our trek, lies the cryptic site of Carajilla. Okay, Eric, welcome to Carajilla. This is the gate that the people, local people are protecting the, the tombs like that because there are looters, there are bad guys that are trying to destroy these tombs. Look, facing to the east. Crazy. In this case, I'm not a package of bones, but inside there is a mummy bundle like in the fetal position. So it's not just a stone structure to guard a cave. They're actually in those figurines. Yes, in the sarcophagus. So Jose and I have been trekking now for a little bit and we got to see this amazing site here with ancient sarcophagi. So I have never seen anything like this in the world because there's no other place in the world that is like this spot right here in Peru. So the Chachapoyas people, and this was their necropolis, this whole cliffside. It feels like a huge honor to even see this, and uh, it's been an amazing experience so far with Jose. I think it's only gonna get better from here. Okay, Eric, here yeah. we are arriving to Belen Valley. This is our point to start uh, the Gran Vilaya hike. Okay. Looking for the lost city of the Andes. First We're looking call. for the lost city? Of course, yeah, of course. Okay. The next day, we will continue the 21 more kilometers to get to the top of Liuma. Okay, so this it's, is proper adventure. Yes, it's a proper adventure. This is the cloud forest area. A okay. hiking ahead of us. Yes. I'm ready, you ready? Ready, of course, I'm ready. All right, let's do yeah, it. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> dropping down into the cloud forest here. I've done a lot of hiking in a lot of different environments around the world, but nothing quite prepared me for the rigorous beatdown that the jungle would provide here. It's the humidity, the intensity of the atmosphere. This is wild. This is really overgrown. This is like Indiana Jones, the real thing. So Jose and I have made it up and over the pass and down the other side and on this other side of the pass the landscape has changed the ecosystem has changed it uh, is a true cloud forest up here and it's beautiful it's misty it's mysterious but perhaps the most challenging aspect is simply the trail it's really overgrown here jose's chopping his way through and the rocks from the ancient inca trail that are still in place are so slippery it's no joke this forest grows so fast, it's so thick. Okay, we just arrived at the first archaeological complex called La Piriquilla. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and this is one of many archaeological complex that we can discover in the Gran Vilaya. Yeah. And on the top of the church of Poets, people could build their houses. This is a foundation. They get a level and then they started to build the right houses yeah. on the foundation. And they use limestone. Well, this is a remarkable uh, example of the architecture and it's cool to see you can actually see the wall here where so many other places that we've been hiking you can't see and so like that they abandoned the area and then nature did its job yeah it's eating it back over again exactly wow 
So it's pretty wild to be hiking here with Jose. And I knew that he said that, oh, we're gonna go find a lost city. And I thought he was kind of being cute with his words, but no, really, this is a lost city that has been taken over by the forest. It's an adventure. It's feeling wild and gritty, wet, slippery, muddy, and having a hell of a time. We've dropped down about 2,000 feet since the ruins, and we're actually gonna be dropping into this populated area where there's a village. I'm actually doing a homestay tonight. I think it'll be cool to see what's going on in the village and the city life. They have a hot tub there? Hot? Jacuzzi? Jacuzzi. <laughs> Jacuzzi in the river. So there's a lot happening right now. We just hiked off this mountainside to come into town, and our host is actually playing in a soccer tournament. So there's a whole bunch of people from villages all around that are coming to check out what's going on to play. There's actually a girl from this village that has a tumor. So this group is here trying to raise money for her surgery. So uh, pretty good cause out here today. It's very exciting. There's so much happening. There's mud on the field. Uh, it's just got a great energy here. So it's good to be here and see what's happening in this town. <laughs> Jose and I have just left the village of El Congong behind and it had a lovely night. Today we have a big day ahead of us. We got about 22 kilometers to make it to our destination. We're gonna be seeing some villages in the jungle. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a long one. It's gonna be a hard one. As soon as we hit the trail, just that swampy humidity of the jungle, you know, bears down upon us again. So we're immediately just sweating profusely and struggling our way through the jungle. We're about five kilometers into our day, getting muddy, getting sweaty. All the jungle overgrowth is covered in water. So getting wet too, feet, legs, sweating. It's a proper jungle adventure. Nice. So far today, we've come up over 2,200 feet and we're only halfway. And then of course, it's super humid out here. I'm not used to this, I'm a desert kid. So all of the humidity here is uh, new to me and is a challenge. It's a hard one. I've learned something new today. The Amazonas region is much more than the Amazon basin. I did not know that about a quarter of the region here is actually this high mountain cloud forest that's full of peaks and mountains over 12,000 feet. I'm feeling it, that's for sure. The goal is to get to an old ruin site called Yalape. It's one of the most important ruin sites in the Chachapoyas area and in the Amazonas region. We're hiking through a fairly bare stretch of trail, and so I'm just getting baked here on this hillside. But the benefit is the original Inca Trail is still in really fantastic shape here. And uh, it is a joy to be hiking on really quality stone here, and not the, the muddy trails that to yesterday plagued me so badly. Onward we press. Okay, Rick, welcome to Yalape archaeological remain. We're here. Yeah, we're here. This is the second most important archaeological remain after Cuela, dating back uh, at uh, 10th century or 11th century. Really? Yeah, it's pre Inca. Wow. And we are almost on the top of the mountain where live the, maybe the noble family or yeah. the, the leaders. And how old might uh, this site be? 10th century, 11th century, more or less, according to wow. the archaeologists. That's amazing. It's been an incredible adventure here, and one of the most interesting things to me is seeing the ways in which these old archaeological sites are constantly being swallowed up by the jungle. And now I get to end this trek here in the Yalape site and see how it's being recovered from the jungle itself. This has been quite a trek.